Well, I'm sure you're imagining what this thing was going to look like combining a Toyota, a Chevy, and a tank. Well, let's call it the super tanker. Or let's fill it with beer and let's get tanked. <laughs> or let's drive around the world in one tank of fuel. Well, since we have that track way over yonder back there that we race on, it's usually too dusty in the summertime. So my idea was to use, of course, that truck that Rick was scrapping. Put a tank on that used to have heating oil in it for heating someone's home. And now it's going to have water in it once I weld up all those holes and I have a three and a half horsepower Briggs & Stratton transfer pump to pump water on my pond to fill it with. There's going to be an exit tube going to a horizontal tube that runs all the way across in front of the back wheels with a slit cut through it to self-lubricate itself for burnouts and slideouts if you want to but actually for driving around the track and lubricating the track to get the right amount of slide when we're doing those driftings with our rear drive vehicles or so, no, so there's no dust. So I'll show you how I made this thing and it's actually operational now. Well there's those talon seats. The blazer steering column. Gas pedal from that talon. And I made a gas throttle cable. A piece of copper pipe. A little wrench welded on. A little set thing to adjust it. And still haven't got the electrical system all finished. It's got the floppy cock rad in it. Floppy cock transmission cooler, some horns. Those are those pipes I welded. I, to make a T-fitting for the power brakes that it has, I took the rear flex line off the axle of this vehicle since we don't like rear brakes at Dave's Farm and made that into a T-fitting and welded all my fittings together in lines. So now we have fully functional power brakes, fully functional power steering. She's ready for a test drive. I'll show you how I made the shifter mechanism. Look at that cool knob on two tire irons which goes through a sleeve so looks great works great looks cool like an old truck and when you move that shifter back and forth it moves this lever system which activates the transmission selector very simple and I use the original fuel line system for this and I left the original fuel pump in the electric one and it just sucks fuel right through it in one direction. Of course you can't put fuel back through a fuel pump because they have a one-way valve. So I didn't even have to do any modifications to the gas tank. And I may even hook up a gas gauge to it since that system is still there. And there's more to come. I just got it in just enough condition to take it for its first test drive. But I've got lots more things I'm going to be doing with it which I'm not going to tell you yet to give you a surprise. So it's going to be wild and wacky. Believe me. Another Dave's Farm Car Classic. Sweet.